Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the Benjinator. This is uh, Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Uh, so we've just uh, defeated the Hecron uh, from Medina Village, and we've made it back to the Truce Continent. We also discovered that, of course, uh, well, we came to the conclusion that apparently this this guy named Magus, who is the one that created Lavos. So logic says we should probably go back to the Middle Ages, 600 A.D fight Magus. See if we can uh, stop him before he brings forth Lavos and destroys the world. It is September 25th. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I got some really good sleep, so I decided to wake up and just do some LPing. So anyway, um, we're going to go to the uh, we're, we're going to go to the fairgrounds and actually go to the next warp point, but I did want to show you something first, just briefly, uh, right here. If we go to uh, the market... You'll see that uh, there's something, there's a nice little surprise there. Oh, look, it's Fritz. Yeah, remember the guy in the dungeon? Saved his life. Uh, yep, mistaken identity. I know how that goes. Yeah, they kind of threw me in jail, too, for absolutely no reason. Woo! Well, you're quite welcome, sir. Uh oh. Yeah, you don't want Dad to find out. Yep, got a bunch of mid others for helping him. Oh, who's that? Uh oh. It's your dad. Yep, working hard. Ain't doing anything wrong whatsoever. Yeah. Uh. uh ho! Hmm. So he knows what the score is. His dad looks like he's not a dummy. He's wearing that fancy turban. So, uh. Actually, the thing about uh, this guy is that he sells already a bunch of stuff that you've got. So, as you can see, all the all the nice equipment that we had gotten before. So, really nothing special there. Anyway, so, what's going to happen now is you have to go back to the Millennial Fair. And then you just go to the warp point that's there, like, near where the, the telepod is. And that'll take you, of course, to Truce Canyon in 600 AD. So, I'll meet you in the Middle Ages. Alright guys, we're back, and uh, doesn't this place look familiar? Well, that's because it's 600 AD. Um, I actually made a slight switch, let me just show you for a second. Um, so, I actually took Luca out of the party and put Robo in, because I decided uh, we haven't really got to see, see, him, see him enough. And uh, there actually is a dual tech that can be used between uh, Marley and Robo. Uh, Aura Beam, which is effectively the same as Aura World, it's just a uh, different different party members. Uh, nothing new in the shops around here, so you don't have to worry about that, but let's, uh, let's check out what's going on. See, uh, see what's been, what's on the down low since we last been here, because it's been a while. Time does, for some reason, go on without us, even though we can apparently control it. Alright, so what do you have to say? I'm at the bridge? Uh-oh. I thought that bridge was broken. Hmm. How about you? Hmm. Hero's Medal. Chosen One has saved. We're saved, huh? Okay, apparently so. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Magus' armies hit the bridge, but for some reason, we're saved. Alright, let's go to the end. This logic around here is very strange. See what people at the end are saying. Woohoo! Alright, so this guy. The legendary heroes appeared. Okay. The king. We might have to see the king at some point, obviously. The king? Wounded? Yeah, see? <laughs> Looks like a bunch of bad stuff's happening, but some hero showed up, so maybe everything's gonna be okay. Oh, bridge, yeah, that's that's not good. Alright, so... Hmm. This is very suspicious indeed. Looks like things have gotten a little bit more dire over here. Well, that's not good. Then again, there is this hero as well, so... That's a little strange. Oh, did you finish the bell? I almost completed the bell. Aww. Lost the will to work. What did your wife have to say? Well, yes, it will. 400 years from now, that bell will still be up. So let's check out this bridge, first of all, because uh, the last time we were here, that bridge was broken. So, oh, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like it's fixed. So what's happened on the, on the Xenon Bridge? Let's check it out. Oh, okay, so all the troops are over here. Commander. 
You're out of rations, huh? Oh, out of food supplies. The hero. Who is this hero they keep talking about? <laughs> Alright. Try to bring around the hero. Hero's metal, huh? Interesting. Maybe? Who knows? Yeah, so apparently we gotta go to Guardia Castle now, because uh, they need some food. That's that's probably the best way to do it. So I will meet you over at Guardia Castle. Well, I somehow managed to make it through that forest without any enemy encounters, so here we are at Guardia Castle in 600 AD. Uh, hopefully they'll be nicer to us than in the present. Oh, halt! Uh oh. Oh, it's us. Okay, yep. Yep, we're cool. We're cool. So let's go say hi to the king, see what he's up to. King's not there. What does the chancellor have to say? Okay, well, he's excited about the hero, too. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go check up and see what the king's up to, because he's, uh, apparently he got injured. And so we want to make sure that he's alright, see if there's anything that we can do to help him. <clears throat> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we can use an aura whirl on them. That might be able to perk him right up. Oh, he fought against the troops? Wow, he's kind of a badass king. I admire that. Uh-oh. Uh well, that's that's very grim. The Queen Lean will also succumb. Uh, you didn't let him down too much. Cyrus. Boy, hero. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so he's looking for a sword in the south. That's interesting. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more of a picture of what's going on. Apparently there's a very young hero that is uh, regarded as some kind of savior to the kingdom of Guardia and he's looking for a sword in the south but in order to get south we have to cross the Xenon Bridge so I'm kind of beginning to see what we're supposed to do but did that captain say something about rations well there's only one place to go where you can get more rations and that of course is well down here chef's in a snitch they got food, the front lines will keep the king healthy, yeah. Okay, so yeah, the chef must be having a really bad day. He must be busy as all hell, so let's, let's go say hi to the chef. Hey, hey chef, come on, what's up? We need some more food. Oh, your brother, huh? Oh, okay, I see what's going on. <laughs> the maid didn't even say anything, she just said hey. Oh, well, I guess he's a little busy, well... It's too bad. I guess we tried to convince him, but that doesn't seem to be working out. So. Oh, wait, huh. Alright. Well, there's the chef. Take what? Oh, jerky, alright. Alright, we get an extra treat, too. Power tab, alright. I like it. <laughs> All right, we'll tell him that for you, Chef. All right, now that we've got the beef jerky, we can actually head back to the bridge uh, to give it to the captain. So I'll see you there. Uh, once again, just amazing that I didn't run into any battles along the way. So now we're at the Xenon Bridge, fully armed with a nice bunch of beef jerky. Uh-oh. Looks like, looks like this has gone considerably worse. Sir Chrono, I like that. Yep, that's for you. Food rations! <laughs> Jerky has saved us all! Uh oh. Music stopped. If I, got, if I die, tell my brother I said... Uh oh. No time for that. There's explosions. <laughs> What's going on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Magus troops are coming. <laughs> Shames the knights of the square table. <laughs> that, that's such a great line. <laughs> we shall destroy Magus troops. Yeah, that's not good. Sounds like there's a lot of them. They are, uh, you know, mystical and have magic and stuff, so physical physical attacks are not going to do much. All right. So now what you do is you talk to him again, and uh, yeah, he asks you to assist you. You say yes, and he's really happy. And we get to go fight on the bridge now. But we get a gold helmet. Which I believe, um, you know, just for, uh, just because her defense is a little bit lower than everybody else, I'm going to put it on Marley just to be 
Just to be... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Hide cap's not gonna help, so... We're done Chrono, alright, perfect. So now we are going to cross the bridge and attack Zemagus troops. So here we go. Uh-oh, those guys look kinda scary. Yeah, these are the, the stronger cousins of the Decidents that we fought in the, in the dungeon. And who's that green dude? Ozzy! Not the Ozzy you're, you're thinking of. So I guess he's uh, Magus's henchman. And there's a really nifty trick for uh, for killing, for getting this battle over with the, early. You just you, you attack Ozzy. Because if you try to attack the deceased, well, you, you know, you can kill them, but you have to use magic on them, and they're a little difficult. Whereas Ozzy has pretty standard physical defense, nothing too, nothing too crazy. So it's a lot easier to kill him. And yeah, once uh, you do, once this Aussie spell is broken, those guys will die, and you'll get EXP. So, yay, we won the first round. Yep, pretty strong. Not getting away, Aussie. Oh, some dead soldiers. That's not good. I'm trying to get by you. Ah! Wait up. Uh oh. Now he's back for a vengeance, or with a vengeance. So yeah, you fight some more uh, Deceits, as well as Ozzy, so do the same thing you did last time. Give me a sec. Yeah, pretty easy stuff, so just feed them. Chrono gets to level up, and Robo does too. Hooray. Anyway, so we, we beat him once again, and now Ozzy says Drat, because Drat is such a strong word. And now, this is where things get a little bit more interesting, so... <laughs> Don't mess with Chrono or will be really sorry. And she's like about to give him a hug. <laughs> okay, so what's this? Bunch of dead bodies. He's kind of putting them together. Piling them up and... Uh-oh. That's not a good sound. Oh! Okay, so now we're going to be fighting this guy. Zombor! Zombor! Yes, folks, it's Zombor. So... This enemy has essentially two parts. There's the head and there's the bottom. And uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter which uh, which one you decide to do. When you kill one part or the other, they will use a pretty strong attack. I think if you kill the bottom first, it uses MP Buster, which takes all your MP off of somebody. But this guy's really not that difficult. Uh, Zombor is fairly straightforward enemy, I think. Um, if I recall, you can actually one of the one of the parts is actually immune to is actually weak to is actually weak to ice. So I'm gonna use Marley to kind of take advantage of that in just a sec. It's gonna be really nice when we get um, when Chrono gets spin cut because then we can use stuff like Ice Sword and Fire Sword, and uh, it's pretty damn pretty darn awesome. And also you can use Cyclone with Robo, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. But yeah, this guy he he roars at you a lot. He's really not that difficult. Um, compared to Hecron, I, I think this guy is significantly easier. So, yeah, see? MP Buster, and that's annoying. Now you got just basically a torso walking around, or... <laughs> or, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I never took an anatomy class, so... But yeah, basically the bottom half, you just gotta attack that. And uh, he does sometimes counterattack with some fairly nasty stuff. Like, that, like this, he lifts you up. <laughs> He's a walking, uh, walking pair of legs. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, I've, I, I feel like that's like an old school comedy act. Like you would have just a bunch of legs walking around, like vaudeville or something. It's kind of, it's kind of hilarious. Roar! Yeah, and he does that as well. It's actually funny because later on you fight an enemy, um, another boss that has very similar moves, but it actually, he doesn't look nearly as ridiculous. So that's kind of amusing. Yep, so punching punch the torso once again. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, I think that's a warning for some kind of attack, but I, I forget exactly what it is. <laughs> As you can tell, like, I don't really... This is not a boss that I worry about so much, so I've, I've mostly sort of forgotten his maneuvers. Like, Hecaron was somebody that I remember pretty well, but... Yeah, there you go. Defeated. Yay! So that concludes our battle on the bridge. So what lies beyond on the South Continent, someplace we haven't been before? Um, we'll find out next time in uh, the Benjinator's Let's Play Chrono Trigger. So thank you guys once again for being patient and watching, and I'll see you all next time.